Good morning, good morning, good morning on this nice and great morning. It's such a wonderful day to praise the Lord. Because God gave us one more day to get it right. Allowing us to be clothed in our right state of mind. I'm in my raw natural form today. But I had to come on. But I really, I truly need to, I got to go into prayer. And with so much is tugging at me that to expose one minute I'm here I have a list of things but this is very detrimental that I expound on right now exposing political religious corruption that has been plaguing society and manipulating basically has the whole society and nation twisted in the wine press and how the enemy is moving according to Ephesians 6 in the flesh twisting up not just my life, but the lives around around me in society to draw political power and monetary value towards them. And God, and it says it's in the word that uh, that you're supposed to call those things out. Call it by name. And the false doctrine and the idolatry worship that the church is teaching is that you don't speak of those things that are in the spirit. And but the, the but John in the book of John it says that Jesus said I tell you, I speak to you, not of my authority, but those things which what I see, and that comes from my Father. Yes, you are. And now, today, what they have been doing is moving in the matrix. And this is nothing against Dr. Juanita Bonham in a natural sense, but I have to speak and expound on what it is that is going on in society. And I'm basically what God has dropped God has the has given me the gift to do is to expose the corruption that is plaguing our church, which is spiritual wickedness in high places and principalities, which is the government um, that is operating together. Now, if you was to do um, a spiritual study, you will know that in the demonic realm. Balao cannot work, operate inside the church without Jezebel. These are demonic forces. And I'm going to tell you how they're moving in the flesh and orchestrating and causing and setting up in the natural. In the name of Jesus, I glorify God in this place. I thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm, yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. I glorify God for to be able to be your mouthpiece that you see me worthy, God, to pour out into your people, Father God. Now I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that your people will receive it, God, that they have an ear to hear what thus says the Lord God. That your people will hear the word and they receive your word and they, they and that they will set free because you said that whom you set free will be free indeed in the name of Jesus to know to cast down right now in the name of Jesus everything that so be easily beset them God that is causing them to war against your will God that you begin to deal with the spirit spiritual realm, the rebellious spirit that's within your people, Father God, that your people begin to lay their flesh on the altar right now in the name of Jesus, I glorify God, that it not be highly that they hear God, that it be the spirit of the living Lord that they hear in the name of Jesus, I glorify God, I believe the blood of Jesus Christ I, over this word right now, God, everything that the enemy will move in the flesh, Father God, to come and snatch away the seed that is sown, God, that your people will not fall by the wayside in the name of Jesus, that your make quicken paths in the name of Jesus, I glorify God in this place. Now let the word go forth, God. As a two-edged sword in the name of Jesus, I glorify God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I'm going to abolish the witchcraft and wickedness that is walking across this land. Witch doctors in the name of Jesus. Warlike in the name of Jesus. I bind up principalities right now in the name of Jesus. I bind up spiritual wickedness right now in the name of Jesus, God. That the spirit of the Lord be loosed inside this place, God. That the fifth heaven, fifth realm, the 
the holies of holies, God, will open up in this place, God, that thy kingdom come, thy will be done here on earth, God, as it is in heaven, in the name of Jesus, God. Yes, God, let us see the Lord coming to God on the cloud one day in the name of Jesus, God. That your glory will shine on us right now in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, God. The Spirit is moving in this place. In the name of Jesus, the Spirit is moving in this place to abolish the witchcraft that these witch doctors and these warlocks has set up in this land. That's the reason why you see so many that not they don't nowadays they don't call themselves apostles in the name of Jesus because they know in the biblical context they going by biblical. They have taken biblical knowledge. Man has taken biblical knowledge which have who has not gotten in the name of Jesus a spiritual in depth revelation from God because the reason why they have not got a spiritual revelation in depth knowledge from God of the mysteries of his kingdom and how the word is supposed to really truly go forth across this land to abolish the evil is because in the name of they don't call themselves apostles in the name of Jesus because apostles die in the Bible in the name of Jesus the, the demonic force that comes up and it's not a demonic force in the name of Jesus it is man who is using the word of God they're not they're in depth understanding of the word of God and they're trying to act like they're walking it in the flesh in the name of Jesus and I'm going to tell you about the demonic force that comes up and attack God in the name of Jesus don't let this word be spread it out in, in the name of Jesus I bind up confusion right now thank you God for that you said that you gave us a sound mind a clarity in the name of Jesus I glorify God what they're doing people don't call themselves apostles anymore they call themselves doctors and the reason why they call themselves doctors is because um, this is how they say that they have the power um, to heal and to speak um, over manifesting prestations over people's lives they have a lot of people in the flesh. This is this is how Satan is building his kingdom across the nation. And I'm gonna have to do another part to this because I'm I'm I got to go to work. But they in the flesh they have people going to school for nurse and doctors um degrees and they're going inside these hospitals. That's really why you see them using Miss Juanita Bynum inside the hospital so much in the name of Jesus. And this is scriptural. If you was to go to the book of Numbers and what Balak had called what Balaam had called Balak to curse the children of Israel. And the reason why apostles have so much content and people striving against them in the natural. You can have a war and it's not even your warfare. But somebody and the physical sense has had been in the church and they have fought against somebody. And say, for instance, they have fought against them until they, to their death. So whenever this person died and went into the ground, now this person over here has an enemy in the dirt. So whenever we have a demonic force attack within the, within the church, and that, fall, and that spirit went down into the ground in the name of Jesus, angry and bitter. So whenever spirits is moving within in the spiritual realm. So now I could be sitting over here in the church and now I'm warned in the church and I got spiritual tasks coming on me in the church in, 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 in the real world. And I wonder why. And it's not me that they're warring with. It's them that's standing behind me using me as a shield and the demonic forces attacking me. Now let me let me I'm gonna shift it because that's a whole nother segment. I'm gonna shift on what they're doing inside the church. Dr. Juanita Bynum, her 3,000 strike in the name of Jesus. You have people that the matrix realm go listen to her, sir. This is exposing the Illuminati and the satanic kingdom and how Ephesians 6 is moving in the flesh inside uh the house of God, causing division inside the house of God. And I pray that. She will receive her healing and her deliverance, and then she will repent and turn. But what they're doing in the matrix realm, whenever she come forth and she's talking, now she's talking into the natural. What is what they're doing inside the matrix? This is what these um, 
Theologians is teaching. This is what I set up under this teaching, up under um, a bishop, archbishop. And if you was to study archbishop, there's an archbishop uh, demonic force in the pits of hell in the name of Jesus. And because a bishop inside the house is supposed to live a, a, a certain kind of how life and to lead and to give knowledge to our, their people. But there is a flip side and there's a demonic side as well. But Dr. Juanita Bynum, they're using her to curse people and to uh, put sickness on people. So that's the reason why you hear her so much say that the doctor called me. I guess so. Uh, they had to call you to come in there because you're the only one that can that can reverse what you have put on people or what somebody else has put on somebody that she has drawn with within the matrix room. So whenever you hear Dr. Winnie the bottom say, I had to lay down. I laid down for weeks. When she laid down prostrate before God, and she's going into the spiritual realm. They are communing in the spirit. You you have so many uh, principalities, government people that is talking to one in the bottom. So whenever she stand forth and she begin to speak, it's not what God said. That is what the, 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 what they called in the spirit, what they're called in the spirit realm. You don't call them by name in the spirit. But if you was to do a, a, a biblical study on spirits and demonic force, they're called familiar spirits. And what a familiar spirit is, a, a familiar spirit is like you see me in the flesh and I'm moving the spirit. And so when I'm moving the spirit, I'm not known by name in the spirit, but I'm known as a familiar spirit in cause I, cause my face is familiar and I'm known in the natural realm. So Juanita Bonham is going into the uh, spiritual realm and she's speaking to like um, she is joined forces with the um, the bishop whom I set up under, and she, and she's calling herself a first lady. And you acting like a first lady, it's not going to birth you being a first lady into the spiritual realm. So now, what they've been doing to men, they've been working um, spiritual manipulation on men and their minds to join unity with um, marriage, illegal marriages, unevenly yoked marriages. And this is this how Bilal and Jezebel operates inside the church because Bilal cannot operate inside the church without Je Jezebel. And Bilal is looking for that perfect wife, that perfect bride in the name of Jesus, whom have position of power within the church so that they can lift up and God said, you're getting ready to abolish witchcraft in this place. In the name of Jesus. This is how the Antichrist is using them to set the way so that he can be risen up over the nation. And this is how Satan has been, has been um, moving and setting his kingdom up across the land. In the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. God is speaking so profoundly right now. And the reason why Miss Bonham is doing what she's doing now, it's like a transference. She's teaching witchcraft, and it's it's like a false doctrine. And she's using the biblical because she's using biblical content because she got biblical knowledge. But then it's like a, a spiritual ventriloquist which is spiritual manipulation to make you talk for them in the name of Jesus. She'll take on the form, which is spiritual uh, witchcraft and teaching that and making it seem as though your image is bad, but then still in the, then they're moving the spirit and try to step into your, into your position to make you speak on their behalf. So they're drawing for blessings towards them and they're cursed, sending curses on you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God said you got to crush the head of the snake in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I glorify God. Miss Bonham can't speak in the spirit in the name of Jesus. She has no authority in the realms because God said, he who worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. And you have to call that thing out in the spiritual realm. You speak in the flesh, but you move in the spirit. And she does not, she is using the people of the land to help orchestrate their demonic curses across the land. Land, read numbers. This is scripture. God said the scripture has got to be fulfilled to equip his people. I've got to go. 
and I'm going to pray about it. And as I um, go over this, this is nothing of jealousy and envy. It's about breaking generational curses and calling things out and exposing that which what they do in the dark. Because God says everything that is hidden, it shall be revealed in the name of Jesus. Now you take this information and I guarantee you it'll line up with the scriptures.